Hi everyone, welcome back to Country Cow Designs. I'm Jo and this is just a really quick update video on what we've been up to recently. So in this video we're going to be discussing um, some more fabrics that we have had arrive from orders a while ago. Um, next patterns that we've got coming up, new products, just everything and every anything like that. So the first thing I want to say is a huge, huge thank you to everybody um, who bought our Ojma pattern. It's just, it's gone down so well and I'm so grateful. Weirdly, um, all of mine sold straight away because I sell my, my bags like most of you as well. And um, normally I end up with like one or two left, but they all just disappeared before I even finished them. So um, this one is the one that's left. This is Adam's one. And he made this out of entirely wax canvas and he changed it. So rather than having a cargo pocket with a flap, it's got a zip. Should he... I be offended that mine hasn't sold, but <laughs> yours has? You haven't, you haven't shown yours to anyone yet. To be fair, this is, I made this two days ago, didn't I? Um, so Adam wanted it to be a bit more masculine. So this is his version of masculine. And we're going to do a blog post um, in a few weeks, probably about how he did this adaptation for anybody that wants to give it a go. So thank you so much for all the support with the Ojma. And also our maker's box, which is our box where you get like a everything you need to make a bag in a box. Um, that went down really, really well. And I've seen a lot of people who have made it and it just looks brilliant. I'm, I'm really happy with how that went down. And just to like hear all the really good feedback, it's so nice. So we decided um, to do some more boxes, didn't we? Yeah, well, you just you decided it was <laughs> a lot. It was a lot of work, but you really enjoyed it, so you were keen to do it again, weren't you? I was. We had a lot of people who missed out on the first maker's box, so I'm just going to show you what we've decided on for the next one. Um, so this kit is a little bit different because it's going to be available for the Daytham sling or the Ojma crossbody. So you can choose a sling bag or a crossbody bag. Um, this again is going to have a wax canvas for the main exterior with this floral cotton from Art Gallery Fabrics. The lining is a navy waterproof canvas because we heard your feedback when a lot of you said that you don't like light linings, so went for a darker one. Um, there's also going to be a very cute little butterfly zip pull from Valor Creative Designs. Um, these are th like things that we stock in the shop um, and it's going to have the brushed copper hardware. So because the brush copper is by far your favorite. It's my favorite, I can't help it. So I promise I'll do, I'll do other colors in the future, but I love the brush copper. <laughs> so yeah, I couldn't help it. Um, so those boxes are gonna be available to pre-order. So it's a six to eight week dispatch because like, we have to wait, we have to wait until the pre-order's finished, order everything in and then, you know, put them together and get them out to you. We estimate that everything will be dispatched by the 1st of December, if all goes well. Um, so that's what we're estimating. So yeah, if you want a box, grab one. The pre-order closes on the 9th of October. Um, because of the way that the like supplies arrive, we have to kind of do them in batches of, um, I guess batches of 60. So we either have to do 60 boxes or 120. So we're gonna probably see how it goes and pr probably open up to 120, but we'll, we'll see how it goes. Um, but yeah. Yeah, let us know if you've got any That's feedback. a lot of boxes. It's a lot of boxes. <laughs> For a tiny little flat like ours, we're scared. There you go. Okay, so something I wanted to discuss with you guys. Um, you know that we sometimes stock Woven Fix 2 interfacing from cereal bag makers. We love it because it's like a really thick, durable interfacing, isn't it? Mm. Makes the fabric feel thicker. Really thick. Yeah. So she sent us some little samples of her black. Okay, who's used black interfacing? Because I always kind of wondered why on earth would you use black? Well, um, Anne from Serial Bag Makers was saying that when you use it behind like a bright pink fabric or a green fabric or something, it makes the color pop more. So we're gonna give it a try. Um, and what we're gonna do is next time we do a woven fix, um, like batch, when we put them on our website, because we do like bundles from time to time, um, we're going to give some of these out to some customers to give a try because she's given us a few samples and we're going to send them out to you guys and see what you think and see if you think there's a difference because, um, yeah, you know, that's an option for the future. If you're in Europe, of course, Serial Bag Makers is based in Belgium so you can go ahead and purchase directly from her, which is awesome. We have quite a lot of 
regular customers, don't we? So it's a nice little way to say thank you by just chucking in a freebie. Yeah, but then it was a freebie from Anne. So oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You give really free, good of her. yeah, give free, receive, receive free, give free. That's the one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, if you really, really want to try black you can always um, drop me a message when you order your white interfacing the next time we do bundles and let me know. I'll try and include one. Okay, so fabrics. Yeah, I'm still on a fabric buying van, but you know when you order from Blended Threads in Canada and it takes, um, how long does it take? Seven months, I think, to arrive because there's like the pre-order and then there's the time it takes to get here from Canada and it's just... This is the worst fabric van ever. It is a bad fabric band. If you, were, if you were out on a band, I'd hate to think how much fabric you would actually have. Tons. <laughs> Look at this! Um, I think this is called like Splashing Bloom. I'm not very good with the names. This is amazing. The colour is so vibrant. So this is the canvas that I got. She's got a vinyl round coming up soon. If you're in Canada, you have no excuse for not having beautiful fabrics all the time. Um, if you're like us and you're in Britain, watch out because it costs a lot to, for the import fees because the import fees are just like, a bit crazy expensive yeah so um i guess if you're in the uk if you can find like some friends to do it with at least then you only have to pay one handling fee because the handling fees are like 15 pound just you know for the courtesy of bringing something into the country okay this is another one of hers wow yeah so every time i order from here which is not very often this is like a real luxury twice a year luxury. Um, I would order two and a half yards of fabric because of their like, they have brackets for their shipping and two and a half yards is the cheapest way to ship it. Okay, and then one more. Absolutely beautiful. I'm so looking forward to sewing these up and these are all canvas. Does anybody else use these cardboards for storing your fabric? It's really handy. Okay, the next thing I've got to show you is some fabrics from Flamingo Fabrics in the UK. So, I haven't sewn this yet, so I can't give my feedback. But, loads of people told me that they love it and they use it all the time for bags. Okay, so it's waterproof and it's like really, um, it's a lot thinner than like normal waterproof canvas and stuff. But it's got really cool prints. She does pre-orders as well. I say she, do you know, I don't actually know. I think it might be a family that run the business, like a whole family. Um, so they do really cool prints, it's waterproof, it feels quite tough and I think my Benina is going to be okay with this because, you know, she doesn't like thick fabrics so we'll see how we get on with that and I'll have to give you an update at some point. This is another one of their designs. Adam, you like this one more, don't you? Yeah, I do actually. It's uh... a bit more muted. Yeah, a bit more neutral, it's sort of, yeah. yeah. Neutral Adam, yeah, that's what we'll call it. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's the new fabrics. Uh, okay. The next pattern that we're doing is a no-sew crossbody. So obviously we had to go and buy some leather. Yeah, it, it, Adam complains about my fabric spending, but going only, to buy leather is a whole different It's thing. only twice a year though, isn't it? I don't think it's even that actually. But it costs a lot more though. Okay, so this is one of the rolls of leather that Adam bought. So when you buy leather, you, like real leather, you get it in a whole hide. So um, you can probably see just how thick it is and this is our favorite one. Oh my goodness, it's so nice. This is, well, we want it. So this is from a, a tannery called Halloween in America. Yeah, they're actually based in America. So it might be cheaper for you guys in America to buy it, I don't know. We wanted their Dublin stuff because we had that before, but yeah. that was out of stock. So this is the Derby. This is the Derby range and this is called English Tan. Oh, and it is. And it's so nice, oh my goodness. Um, the problem with leather is you've got to buy a whole hide, you know, at a time so now that's, he's that's, that's not a problem it's gonna just, last a while you just get more of it it's great so well, obviously we had to make a bag straight away so this is adam's new no sew crossbody pattern and this is what we're going to be releasing next so it's with the testing team it's going to be with them for a while we are doing loads of options for the front flap um so you can see with this one it actually doesn't have a magnetic snap at all because We've been trying to give you like as many options as possible because the whole idea of this is that it's a no sew pattern. Now, if you've got like those rivet back magnetic snaps, then you can use them, no problem. But if you're trying to use normal magnetic snaps, then it's, it's a bit of a different situation. So we, we've got loads of options in the pattern. Yeah. But honestly, I'm actually loving this without any magnetic snaps. Well, that's because we didn't have 
the one we've Look. been waiting on the one we wanted yeah. so i just made it but it's turned out really fine nice. isn't it it's so, great so if you've made our no so tote pattern you know you know what you're getting in for that was so demanded wasn't it yes all year we've had people we've saying had loads of emails like yeah. can you do a crossbody version so there you go um watch out for that i think that's going to be november by the looks of it yeah, we need to do the video tutorial and everything once the testing team have come back to us with all their feedback. Yeah. Um, okay, something else that we got in, it's just super cute. Uh, we got a couple of new products in. So one of them is, if you've seen our Instagram, you've probably already seen these turtle magnets. Oh my goodness, they're so cute. So we got them in rainbow, brass, copper. Um, so you can see they kind of like, they just, they just connect and then you fit them through your fabrics. Um, oh, and tiny little turtle zips to go with them. So we're selling them like as a little bundle. We won't be stocking them regularly. They're just really cute. And we just figured, you know, once off situation. So you get like a zip and a magnet in the bundle. That was another thing you didn't tell me you bought. I'm not very good at telling. Just Adam. a huge box turned up one yeah. day. Um, and then from Valor Creative Designs, our peacock zips have arrived. So if you've been looking for peacock zips, oh yeah, they are cute. So those are now on, in stock on the website. Uh, oh, what else were we going to talk about today? Pinterest. Okay. I don't know how many of you are on Pinterest. I, I love Pinterest. And um, if you're on social media, you'll know it's kind of one of the... I don't want to say nicer, but yeah, I'm going to go with nicer. One of the nicer social medias is uh, sometimes you can get like, you know, like some nasty stuff happening on Facebook and on other places like that. Um, do they call them trolls or something? People who just like to go around and cause trouble. Apparently, uh, yeah, I don't, <laughs> I don't really know to be honest. You don't get that on Pinterest. Uh, we do love Pinterest. And so randomly, um, something popped up on my Instagram and it said about this Pinterest course. So I did it because it was free and it was really good. And I finally think I know what I'm doing with Pinterest. So we've started um, on Pinterest now. So I'm gonna link it in the video description because if you wanna follow us on Pinterest, you can. We're gonna be trying to post like more regularly to that, get, get everything under control. Something else we've been wanting to do is a blog. Okay, so I was at first thinking like blogs feels like a 90s thing, a little bit outdated, but what we wanted to do, because we get so many requests uh, for like tips and advice and stuff like that by email, we wanted to do like a blog post every week that will like have a different subject. So we're going to do like um, five tips for straight zips, um, how to get good photos of your bags, um, how to make a quick strap, uh, using leather in your straps. Uh, what else are we going to do, Adam? We're going to do challenges. We're going to do like oh, yeah. the stash challenge where you have to use a piece of fabric that you've owned for at least a year to create a bag. And then like we can, you can submit photos um, on social media and use the same tag so that everybody can see what each other's made, things, things like that. So this is what we wanted to, we've been wanting to get it off the ground. We've decided to finally just go ahead with it. That is going to be for our mailing list. So if you are already a subscriber, you'll start getting that now. Every week, we're gonna do just like one, one email a week. It's gonna have our blog in it. It's gonna have um, any new products we've got, any special offers we've got for subscribers. Cause if you subscribe, you know that we do special offers just for you guys, um, everything like that. So we're gonna try and do that once a week. So if you have subjects you really want us to like do, then let us know. Um, the first one has just come out now and it's, you might think it's a weird one. It's why, why use a sewing pattern? Because if you follow us on social media, you know that me and Adam, we like to use other people's patterns. Yeah, all the time. We? Adam made, uh, the Guardian backpack by Lynn's Handmade. I've made loads of patterns by Say Sweetness, Oro Rosa, Lavender and Twine. Oh, a lot of people, Swoon. Um, That's actually one of the perhaps disappointing things being a guy. It's not a lot of guy patterns, and I'm always looking for them, aren't I, or trying to adapt yeah. other patterns. So patterns are great. The more we have, the better. Yeah, so so this is actually looking at six reasons why we love to use patterns. And, and then you can comment and give your own opinion on how you feel about patterns and things like that. Um, so every week we're going to have a different subject coming out. So if you're not subscribed to our mailing list, you can click the link in the video description and you can subscribe and you'll get that every week. 
Also, we have our November sale coming up. So every November and May, we do like a big sale. And if you're on the mailing list, you get 24 hour early access, which means if stuff goes out of stock, the mailing list guys get it first. So um, yeah, make sure you subscribe to that if you want to get those emails. Oh, what else have we got, Adam? We've got your leather backpack. Shall we have a look at that? Oh yeah, this is a, this is a weird Speaking one, Speaking of it? Adam using other patterns, um, this is a leather pattern that Adam used. We will put the name of the pattern designer in the description because I cannot remember it. It's called the Kamalis backpack, but I forget the name of the designer, yeah. which is annoying because it's actually, she's a, She's hit, got a lot of, lot of cool really designs. There's some really cool designs actually. Um, this is a hand stitched bag. Adam hand stitched the whole thing. So for most of us, me included. That was many evenings. Yeah. <laughs> stitching away okay. and making all the individual holes. It's such an unusual shape. Um, and the back pocket, okay. It just looks like a Pokemon, but I can't decide what character. I think it might be Snorlax, but um, yeah. This is a pretty interesting. I mean, the leather is fantastic. So the yellow is Prey Blow and the tan is... Badalassie. But it's Carlo Wax, isn't yeah. it? It's quite a waxy... Uh, bag but so Adam's pretty happy with that just something a bit different yeah just something a bit different um, if you want to give leather stuff a go we've got like a few little free leather patterns on our website which are just like river only and also Adam tried one of these recently look at this cute little envelope thing isn't that adorable um, this is from what are they called Maker Supply uh, it's a chap called Make Supply. Make Supply it's got a YouTube channel it does a bunch of free patterns so if you're looking to practice just cutting leather and working with it. That one, again, is no stitching, yeah, no really sewing. quick. Um, this is a classic example of why you need the right die for your hand press, because um, Adam set this without using a correct die. Yeah, it was, so. and they're, they're quite cheap ones. They're not ours, are they? They're quite cheap and <laughs> I won't be using them again. <laughs> so there you go. If you want to give you, try your hand at a little bit of leather and you don't fancy hand stitching an entire backpack, yeah, something else to give a try. So thank you so much everyone for joining us. Um, we are a little bit behind on our next sewing sewing pattern because I managed to slip a disc in my back. I do feel like I'm about 100 years old. Uh, which is why I now have um, my laptop like desk here for a standing desk because apparently I shouldn't be sitting down anymore. Um, so because I haven't been able to sit for two weeks, I haven't been able to sew for two weeks. But we are working, we've done, we've done a lot of other stuff. We are still working on our next sewing sewing pattern, not leather pattern. And it's awesome. I think I'm really excited about some it. Some of our customers can appreciate what it's like to have an injury and, and then can't do anything creative. It's pretty depressing. So I'm sure people will have sympathy for you, Jo. Thanks. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's been a tough two weeks, not sewing. Um, but our next pattern is a big handbag. Oh, so I'm really excited about it. I really like how it turned out. You even got me sewing it. I did. When you couldn't. Yeah, um, that's the only progress that we made. I got Adam to do some of the sewing and basically he just complained because all the fabrics are too pretty and he had to use my domestic machine. So <laughs> there you go. So anyway, thanks so much everyone for joining us for this quick update. And I'm um, sorry it wasn't actually that quick, but <laughs> they never are, they? hope to see you soon. Got any questions about today's video? Just let us know in the comments. Bye. Bye.